Now I'm gonna add a kit command, but first I'm gonna create a new folder in my project called commands. And now I'm gonna create a commander by adding new class. And I'm gonna call it kit command. That's the S. Okay, now I got my kit command class. You have to make it public. And you also need it to implement our rocket command interface. So our rocket command and add using rocket.api. And now we can implement this interface. <coughs> and we'll start by choosing the allowed color for this command. So I want it to be player. So only players can execute this command, not console. I'm gonna give it a name kit. I'm gonna make a help, but I'm gonna leave it empty. And I'm gonna specify syntax for it. It's gonna be name. It's gonna be a kit name. You also don't have to do this, it's optionally. optional. And for aliases, I don't want any aliases, but I but I can leave it like this. Uh, it cannot throw a new exception, it's gonna crash the plugin. So I need to make it to return new list. And also, here, new list of string for permissions, because I don't want any additional permissions too. Just a default kit permission for this command. And we get our execute for the command. So that's what's called when someone executes the command. Uh, parami in parameters we got color, so I rocket player, so color, so the player who executes the command. And we also got a string array of parameters he specifies. So for example, if he if he types in slash kit VIP, this this parameter is gonna be a one element string array with string VIP. Okay. Okay, so we get our command. It doesn't do anything yet because we first want to add the kits to our configuration so admin can configure the plugins on his server. So to do this, I'm, I'm gonna we're gonna have to add some way to store data here for the kids. So I'm gonna need a model class for this. So I'm gonna uh, make a new folder. I'm gonna call it models. And I'm gonna add a new class here. And I'm gonna call it command, kit, I mean. Okay, so I got kit.cs class. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it public. And I'm gonna have two properties here. I'm gonna have one property for for the name of the plugin, and also I'm gonna have property for items this kit has. So, so I will know what to give to player if he execute if he takes this con this kit. So, so I'm gonna. So I have to make it array of u short. So array of item IDs. I'm gonna call this property items. And I'm also gonna add an attribute here for XML to serialize this as XML array item. We add system.xml serialization using. And I'm gonna make sure this array in the, in the config file, it's not gonna be unsigned short, but it's gonna be item ID. Like this. Okay. So we got a model class for our kit. Now we can go to configuration and make an array here for of our kit. So 
I mean, I have using for models in space. Now I've got my kit here. I'll make it an array so I can have a list of them. I call it kits. Okay. And now I'm gonna load a default value for it. I'm gonna say kits equals new kit array. And I'm gonna make a new kit for here. I'm gonna name it default. And gonna make a new U short array. And I wanted to give player Maple Strike and two magazines, so I'm gonna specify 3.363, 90 of Maple Strike, and two times I'm gonna write uh, magazine ID. Okay, so we, we're done with this one. We got the uh, kits in our configuration. So we can now go back to command. And we're first gonna have to take the parameter from player. So I'm gonna have to make sure he's, he specifies kit name. So I'm gonna write comma if length of the command. So the parameters specified is less than one. I wanna return and tell him and to tell them I have to use unturned chat class. I'm adding a using for rocket unturned chat. And I have to use same method. And here it asks me for a message. But I need to also say it only to player. So I'm gonna say, give parameter player color here. And message is gonna be You must specify his name. Okay. And then we're gonna make now if we know he's got a he specified kit name, we're gonna try to find it uh, in a configuration. But we don't have a configuration property here like in kit plugin class. So we're gonna have to need make an instance property and st static property of instance or the kiss plugin. So I'm gonna make static kiss plugin. It's gonna be a singleton. And probably I'm gonna call instance. And on load I'm gonna assign it to this. And I'm also gonna make it private set so it cannot be set from outside a plugin class. Okay, so now I got an instance, static instance. Now I can use it in the key command. I'm gonna use it. You can, I have to type in kits plugin dot instance dot. Now I've got all the properties, public properties from the kits plugin. So I've got configuration here. I got a configuration instance and I have a kits property here. And I want to use link you to find uh, the kit with the name. So I'm gonna use fur for default. Now make a function first for default where kit name is equal to command and the first item of an array. So so first thing he specified, so if he types slash kit VIP, it's gonna be VIP. Okay, so now I can make a variable for it. And then I'm gonna check if kit was found, it's gonna, if kit wasn't found, it's gonna be null. And then I'm gonna return and tell player kit found. Okay. But if it's not null, then we know we got it. So we can give it to player. So we want to give items to the player. To do this, we want to look for the for the for the, for the items of kit.items. 
and we want to give them our indicator items. We want to give them this item, so we're gonna use. Um, we have to get a player, unturned player here. And we can easily get it from from iRocket player by just parsing it to unturned player. So I got a player now, and I can give item to the player. And it asks for a parameter item, but I, I can also give it to, so that it also takes your short item ID. So I was item, which is this U short, so ID. I'm always always one. So now it's gonna give all the items to player. And when I'm done with this, I wanna say tell them you received kit. We're gonna type in kit name here. You received kit VIP for example. Or in our case it's gonna be kit default. Okay, so we get our kit command, we can now save it um, and build a project, but before we're gonna do this, we're first gonna change the version of the plugin to 1.0.1 and also the file version, we're gonna change it. Now we can build. I'm gonna open the project in the file explorer I go to debug, being debug, and I've got a kiss plugin here. I copy it again. I sign in to my to my panel. Go to file manager. Delete my kiss plugin DL. And because we changed configuration, I'm also gonna delete the configuration file. Which is here. I'm gonna delete, delete it. And now I'm gonna drag and drop my new kids plugin version. Okay, now I can start the server. As you can see, we get a new kit plugin version and it also says registered command slash kit. So I'm gonna check configuration. In the configuration, we got the kits list and we got a kit, kit default with three items and I got an item ID here. No, each item ID. So Maple Strike, Magazine, Magazine. If I didn't do, if I didn't add this attribute here, it wouldn't say item ID, but it would say unsigned short. So that's why you add this thing here. Okay, so config looks good. So I'm gonna now go on my server and check it out. Okay, I'm on my server. I'm first gonna try typing kit command. It says you must specify the kit name because I didn't specify the kit name. Yeah. So I'm gonna now try typing kit VIP. It says kit not found. That's true because I have only kit default. So now let's see what happens if I type slash kit default. It gives me Maple Strike and three magazines just like it is in config. Okay, and that's it for this one.